Hi, welcome to my tutorial. In the previous videos we've just talked about how to install Python and pip. And now let's go ahead and talk about Python virtual environment. First question you may ask, why do I need virtual environment? That is a good question. There are many reasons why would you need that. First, the main reason is that you can easily create isolated Python environments on your computer. Second, you may not have root permissions on your machine, but you may need to install some of the Python libraries on your computer. In that case, you may create environment on your home folder and then install some libraries in there. And third example, you may wish to have different versions of the same Python package. In that case, you can create two different environments and install each package uh, with different version in each environment. So uh, let's get started and install the virtual environment on our computer. To do that, you can use two different ways again. First, you can use your distro repository. Uh, in Debian or Ubuntu, uh, you can use this command, sudo and then aptitude and then install and virtual env and then hit enter and it will be installed quickly and easily but this is not the best way and I recommend to use another one uh, that we can use pip to install it with pip uh, type in this command sudo and then pip install virtual env hit enter and it will be installed oops sorry I wrongly typed my password uh, it will be installed system wide so any user can use it on your machine and let's just take a look at one example of virtual environment usage let's create virtual environment in the home folder and then we will install one package which is YouTube downloader and then we will download one video and after that we will remove the virtual environment from the computer. So first of all uh, you need to initialize your virtual environment. To do that use this command virtual env and next is the virtual environment name you may use any name you wish but i use vnf it will install python and all other tools in the virtual environment which is located in the same folder as you can see it has the same name next you need to activate your virtual environment to do that type in source and then vnf bin activate this is just path to the file which may be different in your case and when you activate it, your virtual environment you may notice there is some difference in the comment prompt uh, there is something in front in uh, in the brackets there is virtual environment name which is okay and now let's install some package in our virtual environment and when we use any commands like python or pip or anything of a kind it will be only installed within our virtual environment it will not affect our system so let's go ahead and install uh, youtube da pip install and then the package name it will be downloaded and now you we can use it and download some movie for the sake of this tutorial i prepared the link and now we can download some video but to save the time i recommend to choose the proper format 
Uh, let's get format number 18, which is a bit smaller. The video will be downloaded in a few seconds and we can check it, how it works. Okay, it is done and we can open it. It works fine. So now we need to deactivate our virtual environment once we've done using it. So to do that, you need to type this command deactivate, hit enter, and we don't need our virtual environment anymore. And we can remove it from the computer. To do that, uh, you can use this command rm minus rf and then the folder name so we don't have it anymore and the next thing that i wanted to tell you uh, when initializing virtual environments sometimes it is useful to specify a different python interpreter uh, for example you may need to have python 3 or python 2 uh, to do that you can use this parameter uh, which is minus p and then interpreter name or path to your python executable and let's try to initialize it again so in this case we will have python 3 uh, and then next we need to activate our environment and let's start our python and check the version is 342 which is good and now we can deactivate the environment and we will remove it from the computer okay so we don't have the environment anymore so that's what i wanted to tell you about virtual environment now you can start using it and create some python projects i hope to see you in the next video thanks for watching bye